Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I finally dragged Minho back to the Walmart dumpster where we belong for another uh, Wattpad reading. <laughs> I finally escaped and you caught me. Yeah, I, uh, I brought some rotisserie chicken that they threw away. Uh, there, here's some boiled eggs. Uh, they're only like two days expired though. They should be fine. I thought the chicken was from, uh, Costco. No, no. Do, do you know Walmart has rotisserie chickens? I haven't been to a Walmart in a long time. <laughs> Dude, they have, like, right by the self-checkout, they have, like, a little hot bar. So you can get, like, a chicken, uh, like, an egg roll for some reason. You can get popcorn chicken. And, yeah, they just have, like, popcorn a... Oh, wow. Yeah. They also have popcorn shrimp, but that ain't really that good. I tried it. I didn't like it. <laughs> But yeah, they have egg rolls too. Like you can just keep, while you're trying to check out like Bleach and I don't know, like a video game, you can also buy an egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> Why was your two thoughts Bleach and a video game? What kind of video game are you playing that requires Bleach? Well, Walmart has everything for everyone. <laughs> they have ev so you can get yourself a pair of pants, a, a can of like body spray, a video game. You can get your your kid a Barbie doll, and then you can grab some like postage. <laughs> <laughs> Postage and bleach. Yeah, see? It's to cover up the crime scene. And to send, like, uh, <laughs> what are they called? Ransom letters? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I feel kind of bad that the you, you've have finally returned, and you are returning to... I, honestly, I don't know why I'm saying unfortunately. It's very fortunate, because this is our favorite book series so far. Of, uh, Hero Brian X Reader. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, th this is book three. This person is committed. They've written four books so far, and we are almost at, like, we're at technically at the halfway point, because we haven't started re reading this. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's beautiful. It's, it's literally called book three, Hero Brain X Reader, Fallen Kingdom, like that one song from uh, Captain Sparkles. <laughs> oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. You think, you think there's gonna be a reference to that? <laughs> there better be. Uh, maybe. I'll cry. I'll cry right now if there is not a reference to Fallen Kingdom by Captain Sparkles. If Captain Sparkles doesn't make, like, an appearance in this book, I'll, I'll cry. I'll ugly cry right now. <laughs> How are you gonna cry right now but haven't read the book yet? I don't know. If, if, at the very end... If <laughs> If Captain Sparkles does not appear, I'm ugly crying at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think our name is... Well, obviously our name is Bill. I couldn't remember the last name, so I'm, I'm guessing it's Bill Gates. That sounds about right to me. And whatnot. Uh, yeah. Let's just make it that. Yeah, I don't... I care. I'm... I'm not bothered <laughs> to, My, to go back. I'm looking at the POV replacer, and it says the last name that was replaced was Bill Clinton. But... Oh yeah, that was with Cynthia. <laughs> oh, that was with Cynthia. Okay. Yeah, that was Cynthia. Yeah. All right, I have a, I have a, what is this? A was Elizabeth Second coin from Canada. I don't know how this got to my house. Uh, all right, do you want to be heads or tails? Mm, tails. All right. All right, it's tails. So you get to read the prologue. I guess we'll do chapter by chapter because these are pretty short. No, it's like the first time in a while that I had to read first. Yeah. <laughs> it's always used for you first for some reason. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just built different. Or the coin is built different. <laughs> it's a rigged coin. Mm -hmm. Alright, prologue. The kingdom grew strong and well for the people of Minecraftia. <laughs> the evil notch had been killed and peace had been brought to the land. No, after what? This kingdom was the strongest of all other. The queen of the end was jealous. I was jealous. <laughs> she wanted to rule all of Minecraftia. She wanted to spread the evil she had. She ainted. She <laughs> wanted to spread things. No, she ainted. <laughs> she ainted to spread the Ender Fire from her pet Ender Dragon. King Harold Bryant wasn't going to allow that though. He wanted her banished into the end's totems for a long time. This brought peace for a longer amount of time. <laughs> Queen Bill Gates 
and King Hellrein had been ruling the kingdom for three years. They kept it strong and mighty. Nothing ever broke in. Even if they did, they were caught and executed. Damn, there's uh, executions? <laughs> there's everything. Ender dragons and executions. Yeah. Uh, outsiders were off limits. This is the kingdom of Minecraftia. That's a very um, creative name there, Minecraftia. I wonder how yeah. they thought of that. That'd be crazy if they took the word Minecraft and put Ia at the end. <laughs> no, they couldn't have done that. Yeah, that, no, yeah, they couldn't have done that. Alright, chapter one. I had been sitting here for three hours. I had been bored. There was nothing to do. Just bored as it was. Herobrine was out having his fun. I didn't even know what, but I didn't- wait, but I didn't even want to know. It was pretty normal. <laughs> I got up and began to walk around the castle. I decided to take a stroll outside. I had a guard with me to keep me company. Is it- are we- oh, never mind. <laughs> I can't- I can't. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Herobrine's out doing his own- I thought this was gonna be some kind of, like, King Henry VIII kind of thing, where, like, we were married to him, but we were off, like, doing our own thing with, like, the, one of the guards. <laughs> no. <laughs> he followed me to the bookstore that I noticed when I left Town Square. I went in and searched the books. There were so many. I jumped. I love to read. <laughs> <laughs> me when I go into a library. There's so many books here. I saw. Yeah, do you guys just go up to the library? Do you guys usually keep these many books here? <laughs> that that's like. That's like going to McDonald's and you're like, man, I, that'd be really crazy if they had burgers here and you pull up and see the menu and you're like, oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> you guys are the best. Yeah, I didn't know you- give me five Big Macs! <laughs> <laughs> I saw a book on the history of Minecraftia and a few books called Twilight. I ignored those. I also saw a book about how Notch came to power of the throne. It was interesting. I took the history of my Minecraftia and the others and went up to the counter. Did we buy Twilight? <laughs> Are we playing? Oh, okay, she bought the Notch book. Okay, I thought she was like, yeah, you know, I'll start with the Twilight series. <laughs> Good day, your highness, she said. What can I get you? Uh, just these two books, ma'am. I answered politely. That'd be 30 iron ingots. Plus, if you want this one, it'd be 40. She showed me a book on spells. It was to be interesting. Here you go, my, my lady, I say. She nodded. Have a good day, your highness. Everyone's old in this universe. Everyone's crippled and elderly, apparently. You decided it. Yeah. I carried my books home. When I got home, I placed the other two in the chest and looked at the spell book. I wanted to learn magic. Later, Herobrine joined me in the library. He looked over my shoulder. What do you got there, Bill? He asked. Spell book. I said. He nodded. Magic, huh? Uh-huh, I said. <laughs> By evening, I learned two different spells. They were freeze and mind control. It was cool, <laughs> because I tested it out in a guard, and it worked. Damn, the fucking guards are target practice. What the hell kind of book is only ten iron ingots for having mind control? Yeah, no, I want that book. <laughs> I, I can give you a diamond for it. Ooh. <laughs> Good thing I didn't harm him. Hero Brian uh, came upstairs later. What's up? Nothing much, I answer. Learned any magic? He asked. Yep, mind control and just freezing people. <laughs> he, he nodded. Does it work? Of course, I said with a smile, pointing at the guard that's frozen and is in mind control. <laughs> I stood up and kissed Hero Brian on the cheek. He grabbed me after and walked back. After walking back and kissed me, he then whispered in my ear, You know I love you, Bill. I'll never let anyone hurt you, ever. You know that, right? Yes, hero, I said, smiling. He then roamed around. <laughs> he just hovered in a place, and then we went to bed. In the end, uh, uh, oh, in the end, like the place, I was like, I thought that was like continuing a sentence. I'm so fucking stupid. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should have capitalized the end. Yeah, yeah, it's a place. It's it's a canon place. Exactly. Yeah. In the end, Queen Ender uh, POV. My little pets, I said. Soon we'll take over Minecraftia with my arch nemesis, King Hero Brian. 
My little ender dragon hissed in a agreement. <laughs> he, he walked up to me and curled in my lap. He fell asleep. I began stroking his neck. Don't worry, my little pet. We'll conquer all. I laughed evilly. <laughs> 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 okay. After I had too much two. fun with that one. <laughs> yeah, good voiceover. Yeah, I practice my evil villain. Bill Gates POV. I yawned as the sun hit my face. I sat up and stretched. Herobrine was laying there quietly. He so peacefully when he slept. Why is slept in quotations? Anyways, I crawled out of bed. I dressed and brushed my hair. I smiled at myself in the mirror. Good morning, princess, said Herobrine. I smiled and looked at the messy Herobrine. Good morning, Hero. He stretched and crawled out of bed. He came and hugged me. It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> the emotion. I would have never known the hug felt good. <laughs> I found that the way he was rubbing my arms, it felt like pleasure. <laughs> He didn't want to say it felt good again, he just said it felt like pleasure. Usually no, never mind. I can't critique art. <laughs> he turned me around to kiss him. He kissed me and I kissed him back. We loved each other. <laughs> we were meant for each other. Oh god. So what does my little queen want to do today? He asked in a playful tone. Sure don't Whatever, call me that. <laughs> Whatever my king wants to do, I said. Oh my god. No. He picked me up and carried me to the bed. No! French. Okay. He's... <laughs> you want me to read? You can read. Okay, I think it's like only this little thing. <laughs> he picked me up and carried me to the bed. He slips my shirt off and starts massaging my chest. He kissed me while with why wait, wait he kissed me while his free hand slipped down into my pants. I felt it hit my nether regions. Oh my god! <laughs> I felt the jolts of pleasure. <laughs> here, here, O'Brien went up to my ear and whispered gently, "This is the fun part." Oh my god. <laughs> I chuckled a little. Uh, that's it. Okay, there you go. Now you can continue. I did it. Godspeed. After about half an hour, we, we, we made our way downstairs. Only a half an hour? Um, Man, that was short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We sat at our thrones a wa oh, and watched over the huge corridors. I hummed the little tune that Mom used to sing to me. It felt good. Herobrine looked at me and smiled. I love you, Bill Gates. I love you too, Herobrine, I said. We starred at each other as the corridors slammed open. Guards came in with three prisoners, two males and one female. Your Highness, we found these fools selling illegal items. One even murdered a citizen, the guard said. Dan, they were selling command blocks? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, that's death penalty. Illegal and not mind control and freeze books. Yeah. Damn, that's the death penalty right there. The prisoners <laughs> looked up. I'll decide, Herobrine said. Execution for all. <laughs> guards are moved. Bill Gates. I don't need her seeing this. The guards moved towards me and mo moved me out into the library. The corridors closed as I heard screams. They were death screams. I ran up to the huge doors and banged my fists on them. I called for Herobrine and the doors opened back up. I ran and hugged my hero. He hugged me back. He lifted my head gently and I saw his face. It was covered in blood. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill Gates. I'm sorry. I don't think he is. <laughs> he squeezed me tightly. I didn't need you seeing that. I felt tears fall off of my cheeks. started crying. It brought back memories of when Notch executed my older sister. Danny Daniella. That's my canon Minecraft character. Yep. I squeezed him tightly. I was upset. <laughs> Don't worry, little dove. I have you. <laughs> he kissed my head and stroked my hair gently. I said, Thank you, Herobrine. You always cheer me up. 
I frowned again. He looked at me with worry. What's wrong? It's just... Oh, forget it, I said. Tell me, Bill Gates. Tell me. <laughs> it won't help if you don't tell me. He said. It brings me back to Notch, I said. He killed my older sister, Daniela. How did he manage to spell Daniela two different ways within, like, four sentences? Oh, no. Maybe she just built different. She has five names. Also, you're in Minecraft. You just respawn, right? Unless this is, like, a hardcore world. <laughs> It's a hardcore world, for sure. Yeah, I guess so. He he executed her for no reason. I cried hardly in his arms. Poor Bill Gates. I love you. Notch isn't here to torment us any longer. Calm down. Shh, shh. He stroked my <laughs> hair. Thanks. I feel... I think I feel much better, I said. I looked into his eyes. We kissed. It made me feel better. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> Alright, chapter three. Oh my god, the Queen Ender's back! I get to do my silly little voice. How I'm going to take the king- Oh, how am I gonna take the kingdom? If it's super hard, even if I- Wait. It is super hard, even if I have to destroy the entire village. It's gonna be so much fun! Oh, I love to try and take over another kingdom. This one- this one, I tried to take for years, especially when I killed King Herobrine. This is so much fun. I called my, my pet Ender Dragon over. He seemed to be some in some peaceful mode. Oh, how cute. <laughs> like, like, he j just changes settings <laughs> from peaceful to hostile. <laughs> yeah, you can just change his difficulty at any time. Yeah. He looked at me, he groaned, and I said, Oh, quit your belly yapping, or whatever the fuck that is. He snarled and waited for his command. I told him to watch the king and queen, pretend like he got hurt. He could have taken in, take care of, and he reveal all their secrets. Who's gonna bring in an entire ender dragon and be like, Oh, th this I found this little guy malnourished in the street, and it's just the ender dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so rich. by too many speedrunners. Yeah. Have you ever seen videos like that? They're like parodies now of like, I found this poor creature malnourished and and starving and unwell on the streets. I, I had to wake up every two hours to feed it nurturing milk and soon my creature ended up being big and strong. <laughs> I'll see if I can find that later. Is that like a trend now in YouTube? TikTok, but yeah, it was like a little bit. People just put like random objects and just watch them grow up <laughs> and shit. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Bill POV. I was with Hero Brian in the courtyard. I felt better after a little peace time. Wait, peace time to myself. Yeah, I had my peace time. <laughs> Hero Brian looked at me and smiled. Oh, he looked so adorable that it made me blush. What? I asked. Oh, nothing, especially. No, nothing, except you look hot like the day I met you. He's insane. <laughs> I will full up. <laughs> Try I see that. Yeah. Try to scare me, I corrected. Oh, yeah, he said. I hugged the big guy. He or Brian or not, he was my husband. When we, While we watched each other, we heard a squeal of a dragon. I stood up and walked over to the bushes. I looked in and saw a young ender dragon. It gave me a hurt eye. I scooped it up and took it to here, Brian. A young ender dragon, I said. It hurt. <laughs> we'll take care of it until it can live on its own, he said. He took the young creature into his arm. I, gu I guess it is that simple. I found this creature malnourished in my courtyard. <laughs> and took it home. <laughs> the dragon looked at me. It seems like he was saying thank you. Inside, we gave it a comfy little bed. It sprawled around my neck and squeezed it a little. I stroked the little guy and he purred. I didn't know dragons could purr. Alright, cool. When it was time to feed, I gave him some fish. He seemed to enjoy it. Later, I put him to bed and he fell asleep. Beautiful. Is the ender dragon baby a cat? Question mark. And, <laughs> yeah, it's just a cat. It's a reskin. Chapter 4. 
I woke up when the youngster was squealing. It was 5 o'clock in the morning. I was annoyed. I moaned as I slowly got up to attend to the end to the dragon. He looked at me and squeaked. I picked him up and walked down into the kitchen. The chef looks at me and asked, Why up so early? The dragon, I said wearily, Please hand me some beef. There you go, your highness, he said. I took the beef and he ate the thing. <laughs> I took the beef and he ate the thing. Me too. I, I give Cameron food and he eat the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Food, he eat. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at the dragon in his eye. Now, will you go back to sleep? I asked it. He nodded. When I got back to the room, I placed him down in his bed. He yawned and went back to sleep. I went back to sleep. <laughs> About a few hours later, Herobrine woke me up. He was holding the baby dragon. So, what do you want to call him? Uh, Solar, I said. It's a dumb name. <laughs> Toler. <laughs> Hero agreed and the dragon responded to his new name. He handed Solar to me and I pet the creature. Hero, I said, where are we going to- oh, what are we going to do today? I have a meeting to attend to, he said. We are talking about better forces and plans for battle. Well, we haven't even dis declared war on anybody yet, I said. I know Bill Gates, but it's better safe than sorry. Understood, I said. He walked out of the room and left me alone. I placed the dragon down and he curled up in his bed. I went into the library. Solar's POV. This guy's capable of thought, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> when she was gone, I quickly moved out of the room. I crawled amongst the walls and found where they were holding the meeting. I listened as they talked their battle plans and secrets. This was to be interesting. And we need to send troops to the south wall, Herobrine said. And we can send some troops to the gates and guard there, the general said. Herobrine looked at him. Okay, Sheldon, good, we can do that. Though, we must be careful. Alright, what about the Ender Portal, Sheldon asked. Guards are already stationed there, Herobrine said, but we will keep that secure to keep the Ender Queen from coming out. Okay, Sheldon turned to the captain. Anything else? No, he said. They were all dismissed, and I quickly, quickly scampered back into the room and contacted Queen Enter. Miss, I said through my mind, <laughs> I gathered some information here. Good job, she said in my mind. Now we will be ready. Stay there, and I'll meet you there with my troops when the time comes. Try to gather up more information. I broke the contract. I broke the contact and went to sleep. Damn. Motherfucker used telepathy. <laughs> I, th I really thought he was about to pull out like a, his like a, like a cell phone and just call the, the, the Queen Ender yeah. and just speak English. <laughs> it actually isn't an Ender Dragon, it's just like a, a small guy in a, in a suit. <laughs> This is infiltrating. Make up random purrs. Yeah, he yeah, he's like, oh fuck, I had to say something here. Purr. Purr. Yeah. It's like, oh, what do Ender Dragons do? What noises they make? Ah uh, yes, purr. Yeah. Bill POV. I entered the bedroom. I saw Solar sleeping. It was adorable. I walked over to him and uh, veered him up. Oh, like oh covered him. <laughs> You <laughs> veered him up with a like. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I thought they misspelled like like instead of putting an O, they put an E, and they meant like we veered him with a like. <laughs> he cuddled even more. I s I felt a hand on my shoulder. I saw he turn and said, "Hero." I oh, smiled. You scared me. I said, "Sorry, Bill." He said, "We talked about our plan and stuff." I nodded. Good. Now we have things planned out. Hero hugged me and kissed my lips. I kissed back. I love you, my little dog. I hate that. I, I love you too, I said. <laughs> I <laughs> We hugged in and walked back over to the D. What is the D? The know. dungeon? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be the bed. But I, I like that better. It's just to the D. <laughs> we sat and, li and liked at each other. I felt normal to be with my husband. 
Oh, laid with each other. Oh, liked it. <laughs> liked at each other. I don't- wait, I don't- that doesn't make sense either. I don't I know what they looked. meant. Oh, and looked at each- yeah, sat and looked. That's all we we're did. We're trying to, like, we're trying to just solve this riddle here. Yeah. <laughs> Heroes POV. I watched as Bill laid her head on my lap. I stroked her hair gently and kissed her forehead. I was starting to- It was tired being royalty, especially if we had to take care of a young dragon. When Bill dozed off, I moved her head in- and layer it on the bed. I stood up and checked up on the dragon. He laid in his bed peacefully. He was a heavy sleeper. Even when I touched him, he twitched a bit, but stayed asleep. After a little while, I was in the throne room when Bill joined me. She looked like- she looked like a mop head. Her hair was a mess. I was- I would understand, though. Okay, cool. Do hairbrushes not exist in this world? <laughs> no. But Apparently. My control books do. Yeah. <laughs> She looked at me and smiled. What are you doing? What are you- Wait, what have you been doing for the time being? Sitting here bored as ever, I said. She laughed and sat in her throne. Is, is this all royalty does? Is they, they plan battle techniques, learn mind control, and sit on throne? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love it. I yawned. It was hard. I had gotten up and wanted to be with Hero. I knew it, he was right next to me, though. I wasn't going to whine. He looked at me and gave me a gentle nudge. I looked at him with a smile. I playfully nudged him back. We kept going until we got bored. Here, I won that game. Oh, good. We're getting to the interesting shit. Queen Ender's POV. I kept, I kept going over the information I received earlier. Now I must figure out how I must drive away the guards at the portal. I had an idea to send the Ender Dragon there and distract them while I get in. I'll sedate them. And I'll get through. I smile at my idea. It was perfect. But I must wait, though. The time will be when the second full moon appears. I will be stronger than ever, and I will take over Mecraftia. I was going to not only be the queen of the end, but of Minecraftia. It was perfect. I will be stronger. Ha ha ha. What an evil laugh. Yeah, it was- it- yeah. It was so evil that I broke character. Alright, chapter... Six. Uh, okay. Bill Gates POV. This day was moving slow. I forgot what time it was and everything. Err. It was annoying. I hated it when that happened. All I remember was waking up from my nap and coming out to the throne room. And if you're wondering, it was still morning. I tapped on my armrest impatiently. I wanted something fun, something interesting, something that'll keep my mind off of the boredom. Then Herobrine stood up and looked at me. Want a walk or something? Sure, I answered. He took my hand and we walked down into the courtyard. I always loved it there. It felt special. Hero. Thank you for being my husband, I said. <laughs> Thank you for being my wife, he answered. Just normal conversation. Is this what street people do? <laughs> this is what married people do. I guess. He held my hands when he, we heard a squeal. Sora was sitting on the window wheel. Window wheel? A window sill? Window wall? I think it's window seal. Okay, window sill. I shook my head and he leaped. He tried flapping his wings, and he failed by falling straight down. Ha, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> uh, I yanked my hands out of Harrow's and ran for him. He was about to touch the ground when I caught him before touching the ground. I hugged him and spoke to him. Don't scare me like that ever again. He almost got hurt, and I don't want that to happen, I said. Solar's POV. I felt bad for scaring the poor girl. I know she cared for me, and she didn't want me to be hurt. I sat there quietly. If I did this, Queen Ender wouldn't help me. She would have yelled and abused me like she always did. I still never wanted to go back. I loved the girl who took care of me. I felt safe here. I knew I had to get more information from my master. She would be pissed if I didn't. Yeah, but what is she realistically gonna do, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she has, like, some contract 
a pet contract thing. And <laughs> pet contract? Them. It's the I'm adoption sorry. form. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I contacted her. Masteress. Oh, it's Mistress. I have a bit more information. The full moon is in two more nights. I know you'll come by then. Alright, stupid dragon. I will come then, she said. And if I see you try to fly, I'll kill you. Are we- felt... is, is this bitch not allowed to fly? <laughs> She's a dragon, you can't fly. If I see you go more than two feet off the floor, you're grounded, mister, permanently. <laughs> yeah, if I see you breathe or use your eyes, you're dead. Yeah. I felt guilt. I- I already tried. She growled, then spoke to me in an angry tone. You idiot. I told you. You can't fly for crap. You're a stupid, idiotic dragon who has the brain of a mouse. No wonder you are useless. You are a fool who doesn't know anything. Damn. Alright. Sorry I'm for listening. I'm this fucking dragon right now. I thought she was petting him in the beginning. No, that was I a different I dragon. That was her second- that was her favorite. <laughs> I felt upset. I was scared and I almost whined. Yes, master. I broke the contact. I looked up at the girl and curled up in her arms. She was more like a mother to me. I loved her. Bill Gates POV. I hugged Solar and walked him into the room. I placed him in his bed with a fresh piece of beef. He ate it and whined when I left. I walked back to him and I let him sit on my shoulders. It felt like he was my dragon, so I said, Solar, do you want to be my dragon? He nodded. I pet him and said, okay, you'll be my dragon. He hummed a little and later his head... He hummed a little and later his head on my shoulder. I think a word's missing there, but okay. It was about five when I sat down at the table of Solar, perched on my shoulder. Hero didn't care, he seemed to enjoy seeing a dragon on my shoulders. He smiled at me. You must love your dragon, he said. Yep, I answered. He won't even leave my side, so he has to sleep with us. Alright, Hero said, looking at me. We ate for a little while, then went and relaxed in our bedroom. Stoller curled up next to me. He hummed a little and fell asleep. Such a cute dragon. He loves you, Hero said. Here's your dragon. All right, he's your dragon. I know, I said. And I still love you. We kissed for turning out the light. Uh, Queen Ender's POV. Two days have passed since I spoke with that idiotic dragon. He was stupid, but I still needed him. <laughs> Why does she keep insulting it? I was laughing when I noticed the Tim was tonight. What? Who's Tim? <laughs> Who's Tim? They're just new characters just showing up left and right. Oh, is it supposed to be a timeless tonight? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be- I love the Tim is tonight, like she looks up in the in the sky and there's just a guy named Tim and she's like, finally, it's Tim. <laughs> it's your Tim, it's your Tim tonight, Tim. I was gonna leave. I'll take over Minecraftia. I called for and Enderman. He teleported in front of me and looked at me. Now what I want you to do, I said is to go out of the portal and distract the two guards. Drive them away from the portal so that I can leave. You understand? He nodded and teleported off. After a little while, the Enderman contacted me, saying the coast was clear. I stood up with my troops and went through the portal. I felt the tension on me as I entered the overworld. When I made it to the overworld, I laughed evilly. I knew I made it, and my plans were to work. I was in King Herobrine's castle. That is in Minecraft, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Damn, that, wait a minute, you're telling me the end portal is in our castle right now? I feel like that's a design flaw. <laughs> Maybe he just found the portal and built his kingdom there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that thing is underground. <laughs> what? The big kingdom. I guess. It's like the delicious in dungeons where that castle is like under the ground and whatnot. And you have to kind of like travel through the castle to see all like the, the uh, yeah. like the neighbors. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Bill's POV. I I walked the halls with no problem. I was talking with one of the maids. She and I were friends. Her name is as 
Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'm such good friends with her. I don't know how to pronounce her name. As Meldola. Elsmerelda. She was about 21. <laughs> so how's your dragon? She asked politely. Solar, he's, uh, he's good, I answered. Solar was listening to our conversation. He looked at me and nudged my neck. I stroked his neck. He kept nudging me. What's wrong with you? I asked him. He kept nudging me until I saw an explosion up ahead. I stopped and heard a female laugh, and then I saw her walk out. Oh, well, if, if it isn't the queen of my craftia, she sneered, you will be killed first. Oh, and that little dragon? He is mine, you know. He was my secret messenger. <laughs> I looked at Solar. He gave me a sorry look. I grabbed him and dropped him on the floor. But he <laughs> just... <laughs> he looked at me, and I snarled at him. See, he knows that he... Wait, he knows that he told me all your plans. He... The, the end queen said... I stared at the dragon, and then at her. She grinned and walked up towards me. She drew a sword, uh, a probably diamond, and smiled and said, I will be sure you're killed before long. I drew my it's sword. Just like a wooden sword. <laughs> yeah. That's all they can afford in the, in the end. <laughs> I drew my sword. Also a diamond sword. I stared at her. So you want to fight? I can do that. I can't fucking fight in Minecraft. This is... <laughs> She ran at me and sliced my side. I held it for a moment and looked at her. I swung my sword and cut her arm. She hissed and came towards the dragon. I jumped in and kicked her leg. She was given a dead leg. Uh, cool. She limped over at me and cut my stomach and sliced my leg open. I fell down and was unable to get up. <laughs> you are as weak as a hampless sheep. She said. She laughed and walked away. Elsmeralda left to get help. So it was just me and Solar. He came over to me and I and whined. I glared at him saying, Why are you here? You tricked us. And now you're gonna hurt me now? Go ahead. Scram! He looked at me and then scampered off. I watched him run around the corner. I was left alone until I saw Elsmeralda with Hero. He walked over to me and knelt at my side. He picked me up and said, What happened? <laughs> I love <laughs> Just bleeding and cut. <laughs> so, what's up? Yeah. It's, we're in like the Peter Griffin pose with all of our injuries. <laughs> eh. I, sh I shook and began to speak. The queen of the end is here. She attacked me. He hugged me close to him and called for the guards. Guards, hunt down the, the end queen and kill her. I need to take care of Bill Gates. He carried me out to the courtyard. Uh, fuck. Uh, the, the solar's POV. I ran from Bill. I was upset for lying to her. It made me feel guilty because she actually cared about me. I had to help her. It was what I was going to do. Behind me, I saw Queen Ender walking towards me. She grinned and kicked me aside. She laughed and said, You are stupid. You are no use anymore. So now, so now go before I kill you. I ran. I climbed the walls and saw Hero Brian and Bill. She was hurt badly. I whined and Hero Brian noticed me. What do you want? Faker? <laughs> he yelled. I shifted during the body motions. Hero was confused until he finally understood what I was saying. I threw him a healing po Where the fuck did we get the healing potion? <laughs> what inventory Randomly. slots do we have? <laughs> you don't have a healing potion pocket? No! I always have one. I threw him a healing potion and glided down. Bill was unconscious. This should help the healing. As she drinks it, she'll be all healed in half an hour, he said. Damn, that's a slow ass healing potion. Ours was like. In a potion. Yeah. I climbed onto him. I felt bad that I put her through this. So I hummed. Uh, I hummed and he placed me on top of Bill. He walked and sat, and sat down in a seat. Are we just laying on the pavement? <laughs> Yep. He covered his face. Poor Hero Brian. He had two things to deal with. His wife's life and Queen Ender. <laughs> Damn. What pick a struggle. <laughs> Bill's beef. <laughs> I sat up in bed and, watched and saw Solar. He was staring at me. I grabbed him and hugged him. What do you mean I'm sorry for yelling at you? No, we had every right to yell at this little fucker. 
<laughs> After I said that, I felt something rub in my mind. It hurt and I felt like it was connecting to my brain. It was the voice of Solar. Uh, Bill, it's me. Solar, I have my mind linked to yours. I broke the link. Are you using a Star Wars <laughs> force voice? Yeah. I broke the link with Queen Ender. Now you can have my link and contact information. I am yours now. Contact information. <laughs> I, here's my cell phone. Just type in your digits. <laughs> I felt a bit stronger. Here's my number, so call me maybe. <laughs> and all the other boys trying to chase me. <laughs> I felt a bit stronger. I spoke to him. So how are you even being able to do this? I am just... I, I just am, he said. Now we will fight. <laughs> Uh, the canon voice. <laughs> Chapter 8. Queen Ender's POV. There is no way the battle was this short. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Go ahead. It looks like it's continuing. Queen Ender's POV. I was walking and kill, killing the guards who were coming after me. I had my Enderman waiting outside the castle walls. I was going to signal them to attack at full force. This felt great. It was amazing. I was going to be queen. I laughed as I dropped the guard that had just attacked me. I was getting ready, and I was having to have fun. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Bill Gates POV. I stood up and grabbed my sword. I sheathed it and walked over to Hero with Solar on my shoulders. Hero looked up and hugged me. We are ready to battle, I said. He nodded. Our forces are ready. I followed Hero to the armory. We put on armor and called... Called our Sheldon. He walked up and bowed. Your Highnesses, we are ready. The Queen has much Endermen beyond the walls. We will stand our ground, Hero said. I walked with Herobrine into the Bisk room. I spoke loud and clear. Guards, this is going to be a deadly battle. We are fighting to save Minecraftia from a great evil that has risen. We will fight with honor. We will fight to save our civilians from Queen Ender's wrath. Most of you won't make it, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Even those who die will know that they fought with honor. Those who make it will be honored as well. We know this is a battle that we'll never forget. We will stand our ground, we fight with honor. For the land of Minecraftia, all the guards cheered. That was a good speech, Hero said. I nodded. If I die, just know I will always love you. Me too, he said. We kissed before leaving into a world of war. I thought that's where the war ended, and I'm like, damn, that was really short. Wait, this is chap. This is the. F this is where the war is gonna start and end. Damn. <laughs> All right, chapter nine. All right, before we get to the fucking epilogue, where it's like we're I don't know, wealthier and stupider, I guess. <laughs> I remember when Dad would tell always told me life was hard. Life wasn't always going to be peaceful and happy. That you had to fight for it. Well, today, the day was was that day that we had to fight for it. <laughs> the kingdom and all. When we all got outside, the kingdom was on fire. And the men were attacking and their queen watching from above. I looked over at her and she caught my eye. She then laughed and said, Come to die. I, I, gr I growled like a dog, apparently, and yelled, You are a fool if you think that's what's gonna happen to me! As I almost got my ass kicked last chapter. <laughs> she called her Enderman to attack. Hero told our soldiers to attack. While they went at it, the Enderman sh surrounded Hero, Solar, and I. I was staring at one when it teleported at to me and attacked me. I drew my sword and attacked him. He fell limp to the ground. Another attack and I killed it. Dude, that's the no Dude, Endermen aren't aggressive. You just put on a pumpkin head, they'll never notice that you're there. Exactly. Yeah. Minecraft fucking 101, man. We fought and more and more came. Solar was helping me with the ones I fought while Hero fought on his own. Yeah, because he's fucking overlord powerful little bitch made over here. Soon, we were outnumbered. We were thrown and almost killed. Many of our troops, too, were falling. We were losing the battle. Hero 
We're about to fall, I called. Hero looked at me and shouted, Bill, watch out, behind you. I turned and it was an Enderman that was about to attack me when Hero stabbed the creature. <clears throat> it fell. I was growing exhausted and the Queen Ender stared at me. Weakling human. I growled at her. There's nothing wrong with being human. I charged at her, swinging my sword. It stabbed her side and she screamed. Damn, that's it? That That's <laughs> That's it. Damn. It, 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 one hit. <laughs> she grabbed her sword and hit me. The next hit she made, I blocked and kicked her down. She snarled and kicked my sword out of my hand and threw me down. I was done for. Hero called Silder over and he went. I watched as Hero had help, had the help of a dragon to fight off Endermen that was outnumbering him. I turned a around and, to and looked at Ender. She grinned and said, You are pathetic. What should I do with you? Kill you or torture you? She held me by the neck. And I said, I can't say that. I was like, it's... <laughs> uh... What word? Oh, oh, there it is. I turned around to... Wait, okay. She held me by the neck. She made me observe the damage her endermen were doing. Our troops were falling. <laughs> Your men are weak. They can't withstand my endermen. So now I will kill you. Don't just put water everywhere. They won't go in water. You guys are fucking idiots. Like these guys haven't played Minecraft before. Yeah, this is a hardcore world and you don't know how to use endermen. <laughs> Uh, so now I will kill you. She pulled her sword towards me. Before she could stab me, I grabbed my sword from a far place and stabbed her. How far was our sword thrown? She hauled in pain and kicked me in, in the leg. I growled and punched her in the stomach. She barfed purple blood. <laughs> Later, I sliced her <laughs> stomach and hips. I growled and felt something. Her and I stopped fighting. We turned to see Solar struggling. He had purple mist swirling around him. As it did, he grew bigger. and grew so large that he was the size of an average dragon. He let out a roar and it flew towards us. He saw me and landed next to me. In my mind, I, f I felt him. Bill, we must fight. I will help you. Now I'm a full dragon. <laughs> he roared loudly. Uh, where's Hero? I asked. He's hurt. The medics took him inside. He's fine now, he said. I broke our contact. <laughs> Queen Ender was mad. She saw that Solar was fully grown and he was loyal to me. She yelled at me. I know that you can just take my- Oh, you think you can just take my dragon? Well, I'll show you. She ran at me when Solar grabbed her and threw her down. Uh, he sagged- Oh, smacked her with his tail, and she was weakened. She stood up when Solar blew a breath of end fire. She screamed in pain. I saw her disappearing. I thought for a moment and threw my sword in there, and there was an explosion. I was sent flying and hit the wall. Solar landed next to me. As the shockwave went through, I saw the Enderman blowing up. Okay, damn, they just- they- they're just- <laughs> Endermen right now are just like, my main goal is to blow up. <laughs> Uh Oh, Enderman blowing up. Spreading purple blood everywhere. It was gross, but I know we have won the battle. I stood up slowly and was upset to see our kingdom had fallen, though. Oh, wait, like the title of the story! That's pretty cool! Anyway... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I heard you someone... Said it. In the line, Bart. <laughs> I heard someone walk up toward behind me. I turned and saw Hero Brian. He hugged me and saw I was upset. What's wrong? He asked. I don't know, man. There's a lot that could be wrong, you know? I'm bleeding <laughs> out. Our soldiers are dead. I don't- anything. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, he asked. After a battle? <laughs> Maybe his eyes were gashed out. Yeah. My king- the kingdom is destroyed. I squeeze them. It's okay. Not every- not every battle with all things will be successful. At least we destroyed Ender Queen and her men. We do- we still have Solar. All that matters is that we're together. We did rid a grid evil. We won, and we will rebuild the kingdom. Thanks to you, we are in harmony. I felt the tears in my eyes. I- I- it felt good to have won the battle. The land is now at peace and harmony. <laughs>
Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, now you can read the, the final epilogue. Seal this shit. The world was filled with light, how it shined over the kingdom. It was what filled the world with happiness. Slowly, the kingdom was being rebuilt. People helped us rebuild our castle, and we helped rebuild the village. Even though the light shines now, evil may rise again. May the light shine for now, but evil will rise again. The thing is, evil cannot be destroyed no matter how hard you try. It will always roam, whether it's out in the overworld or in the depths of if the earth. It will rise again, but be, we will be ready. A new evil will rise again. <laughs> this guy said evil will rise again like five times in this one paragraph. He wants to emphasize. You can't blame a guy for emphasizing. Maybe there's going to be a book four. Oh, there is a book four. Rises. Oh my god. I think it's just called the final book. <laughs> oh, but it's beautiful. Did you enjoy it? That was that was pretty normal. That was pretty pretty uh, action packed. You know, I gotta say it. I like the first book better than the third one. Was it better? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, f I feel like the first book was very simpler and whatnot, and then second book a little bit of like turmoil, and then this one has was just. I feel like it was anticlimactic with the battle, man. It, it, it could have used a lot more detail. That's all. That's true. Yeah, but how, how did you feel? How how do you feel having this book be the first thing you read on, on back on the show? <laughs> it wasn't bad. All right. All right. You know what I'm hoping for? A good wheel spin that isn't Hero Bride. <laughs> Maybe we could read the Harvey X Reader again. <laughs> Oh, perhaps. Yeah. I'm begging. There was a lot of updates while you were gone. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I- real quick, did I take it off the wheel? I did. There's no more Cynthia X-Reader, because we're done with that chapter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, what are you hoping for? Uh... I have no idea. Alright, I'm hoping for Harvey X-Reader. What does that add? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's it's it's, it's uh. Oh wait, we're reading an NX reader. Oh shit. Okay. This is my magnum opus. Oh, so this, these are just plushies. Don't worry about them. <laughs> the top right one is looking He's, nightmare feeling. He just wants to give you a hug. That's he just he got long arms to go around your body and to give you a tight hug. I will kindly decline. And this one has a knife. <laughs> They're ju they just want to be your friend. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta find a NX reader. I don't think I ha wait. I have one. I have one in the reading list for us to. I can pull. It, it, this was totally planned. I totally planned ahead. No. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I totally just did not just remember about, I don't know, having things, <laughs> like, in advance. <laughs> mm. I'm just built different, that's all. <laughs> anyway, yeah. thank you, Minho, for joining. I highly appreciate it. Do you have any final words, any words of encouragement or wisdom you can bestow upon the audience today? Uh, yeah, I think that... Even though the light shines now, evil may rise again. <laughs> so, I think the light may shine for now, but evil will rise again. And the thing is, uh, evil can't be destroyed no matter how hard you try. So, it will always roam, whether it's out in the overworld or in the depths of the earth. It will rise again. But I think <laughs> we'll just... be ready when an evil rises again. Are you reading this fucking epilogue again? When it rises no. again? <laughs> no, these are my thoughts. Alright, those are some very cool thoughts that you had that were very original. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, there's a bunch of links in the description I can't be bothered to read out. On screen is a playlist of all the other Wattpad Book Club readings. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.